Hello, and this is another typical Argonian battle port. The mission is Purge the Alien. My 1850 Chaos Marines versus 1850 worth of Imperial Guard. So these are the armies. The Land Raider has extra armor, and that's all, and what you see is what you get. Ten cultists, what you see is what you get. Close combat guys. Uh, Vindicator with extra armor, combi bolter, and seed shield. Forge Fiend, what you see is what you get. Hellbrute with plasma cannon. Uh, they are ten man squad of plasma gun marines with the champion, which has a lightning claw. Um, nothing really much for its uh, gift, nothing of note. This is a ten man chaos marine squad. They have two melt guns here. And the rest are just bulk guns, and he's the champion with the lightning claw, I think. And these are Mark, 10 Chaos Marines with Mark of Nurgle, two Plasma Gun Marines here, champion with lightning claw, and Rob Smith, <coughs> sorry, I've got a bad throat, which has Bernard Brown Scalfrax, Mark of Zinch, and Aura of Dark Glory. 26 Autogun Cultists, with the champion right at the back. Because you know how he over likes to oversee everything. The Aegis defense line with a quad gun. Defiler with a Laz cannon because it's free now, so it's great. And that's generally it. Oh, yeah, oh, I forget. Yes, Heldrake with Bale Flamer, and he's in reserve. Michael, would you like to go through your army? Yes, I shall. Uh, on the Imperial Guard side we have a Hellhound with a Multi-Melter on the front of it, a Lemurus Demolisher, Heavy Boulder on the front, a Chimera, Multi-Laser and a Heavy Flamer on the front, containing a Veteran Squad with three Melter Guns. Here we have a 20-man squad with the Aegis Defence Line, Lord Commissar manning the Quad Gun, the Wolf of Shattered Defences on this ruin. We have the Manticore which is just sitting at the back as it usually should. <laughs> we have Platoon Command Squad in here with three Melter Guns, one Plasma, and they hit, well, the Company Commander, obviously. This is a Proxy Chimera, white as hell. It has the co Company Command Squad, three Plasmas and one Melter. We have the Lehman Rus Nova Cannon, Eradicator Nova Cannon. Um, that's not the last cannon on the front, it's uh, Heavy Flamer. Here we have another Chimera, this has got another Veteran Squad in, but this has two Plasma and one Melter. It is multi-laser on the turret, because I say they glue things in, and a heavy flamer on the bottom. We have Guardsman Marvel and Vendetta with Veterans, two, three heavy flamer, three Melter guns inside. And that seems to be it, if I've missed anything in all well. And passing it back to Jacob. Before I forget, all Chaos Marine squads have Veterans of the Long War. Now I know I'm fighting guard, but it's plus one leadership anyway, so that's good. Uh, the scenario is Purge of the Alien, and I get the first turn. We roll to steal the initiative, and I'm going first. So turn one overview. Turn one overview of the Chaos Space Marines. Well, this fired into that Neon Rus and did nothing. Before I forget, it was night fighting, so uh, he made a few saves here and there. This fire like that didn't even well it the hit but penetration was just absolutely nothing. This was not within range of anything. These cultists ran, so they moved here, then ran up to here. This moved, fired into that. What did it do? Immobilize it. Penetrated and immobilized that with the with the plasma cannon. Fired into the quad gun, which basically did nothing because of his jammy saves of being shrouded or... Is it shrouded? I think it's just stealth. Stealth. Aegis defense, defense line plus stealth, three plus cover save. These ran an inch, the plasma gunners. The melt gunners, however, ran six. These could not be within range of anything. However, the auto cannon, no, the quad gun from the warpsmith did fire into the Tony Mons squad and took off two. These guys ran five inches and managed to get there. 
This guy, however, makes up for all the misses, fires into the Chimera, shoots the uh, Chimera, blows it up with its battle cannon, kills... Yep, failed the leadership, ran off the board, and killed like eight guys or something. Ten. Ten. So I, run, I killed I killed two units. I get first blood. So yep, that is Chaos Space Marines turn one. I'm dead satisfied with that. It is now the Imperial Guard. Uh, turn one overview for Imperial Guard. We we've, we've done a substantial hit to the thing to get get him back for his first blood. Obviously, the troop and transport gone. Um, Eradicator Nova fired at his cultists over in the building behind the Aegis with the Wasp It killed seven of them. Hooray for no cover. We have the quad gun, which didn't do diddly, unfortunately. We have the Chimera, took a pop shot of what used to be the cultists with only one man left. Yes, I think it killed one. So we have the multi melder which hit but didn't penetrate. We have the demolisher which scattered completely off the land raider, so all well for that. The manacle it fired at the forge fiend. Got we got three um, penetrate on the four tree, one penetrate on the Belgians, and ten minutes on the Cultists. Thank God for D3 hits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bishop oh, yeah. seven. He's on cocaine! Uh, the one single Cultists passing his leadership, but got hit by a man, of course, a pit and test. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Bishop seven. Six. He's definitely on his cocaine. Drug bust. <laughs> I, I can tell this cult is going to wreck, wreck me. Um, and that seems to be it. Nothing to stop the battle cannon until. Did you tell him? Oh, yeah. Uh, penetration results for the Forge Fiend, as you might have probably seen. Saved one with his invulnerable save of Demon. Um, the other two double exploded it. Yep. Like if you cry every time. Um, and that seems to be it. That seems to be our results, and then coming to his turn two. Okay, so this is turn two overview. Uh, well, this fired at the Lehman Ross, leaving only a glance, wasn't it? Yep. This fired at the Lehman Ross as well, managing to catch that as well. Uh, did nothing for the Lehman Ross, which was a bit of a pain. Glance for that cover save. And what did it do for that? Shaking it. It's shaking the result. So, uh, that did bottle. Well, that did a bit more. That did bottle. Apart from to the Lehman Ross. That uh, fired, didn't it? Yes. It fired at that and did bottle. Uh, bottle means just nothing, really. Uh, they fired into the side arm of the Lehman Ross with the plasma gunners and did nothing. These guys just ran. The Malt Gun guys ran. These guys ran. Did they? Yeah. Two inches. Yeah, they ran two inches. This ran three inches since it could not gain line of sight to the Lehman Ross. Uh, this. The auto gun cutters went within range, but the quad gun was within range of that squad, which fired and nothing. Uh, well, it, yeah, it did bot all again. <coughs> the Heldrick, however, came onto the board, successful reserves, 36 inch range, flew in, intercepted, took a whole point off it, then Bill Flamer killing six of them. And I don't see me pulling off a win if I'm going to roll terrible runs. But, I'll all depends next turn, I'll probably get a few sixes in there. So can I kill go? that, kill that, that's probably what's going to happen next turn for compensation of this turn. Um, yep, that's my turn. Overview, over to overview of turn two of Imperial Guard. The end of uh, turn two Imperial Guard overview. What? No, it didn't come in. No, I was just about to say that. Marvel came in, Vendetta didn't. Um, we had the three melted gunners and the multi-laser here shoot into the hell, not the hell brute, 
the hell trick. The hell trick, not the hell brute. Ah, everything's hell. And Demolisher shot the Land Raider, which is now not there, not because of the Demolisher, because the Manticore had to come back it up with its strength turn. Um, snapshot of the Bane Wolf onto Vindicator, did not hit. We got two Mada Guns from the Platoon, hit, firing into the Helldrake, did not hit. It intercepted, so uh, Lord Commissar with Quad Gun could not fire. Eradicate Nordcam fired at Cultus in the building, um, hit 14 of them, wounded 13, uh, ignores cover, so 13 down. Um, Marble, another hit, uh, hit Rumble. Uh, hit two of them, he look out third and passed the look out third. Oh boy! Killed two others, I think there's three more, four yeah. more there. And um, that seems to be it. The Bane Wolf is now not stunned. And. Uh, and okay. Okay, so this is turn three, isn't it? Turn two, turn three, yes, turn three. Turn three overview, that fired at that. Still didn't blow it up, but it's on like its last hole point. It is immobilized, and it's still got a big ass cannon. Um, the Vindicator, uh, the Plasma Cannon, fired at that. At that, sorry. And nothing happened. This fired at the Lehman Russ, did nothing. The, the Melt Guns fired into that, did nothing. This Vector striked that and took two whole points off it. Double six, sidearm 13, strength 7, and I got double six. Very well played. These uh, detached themselves from the Warpsmith, moved to here with the shotgun, fired into Marvel, did nothing. One plasma gunner rapid fired, shot into Rambo, killed them all. The Wopser fired its uh, quad gun into them, did diddly squit. This ran an inch, did, and uh, it's looking like she lob. Uh, this then fired its bale flamer into the company command squad, killing three. Oh, four, four, five, five, yes. Three out five. Uh, shot defences is still working. Uh, I can't really say much more. There's two explosions. Uh, yeah, that's my turn three over, and now it's the V ship for them. Uh, five and six are fine. Five and six are fine, and it is Michael's turn three. Ben and uh, turn three for Imperial Guard overview. We have the Hellhound, which finally decided to move up. Moved to the side of the Vindicator, shot at Melagone. Missed this time. Demolisher, that fired its tenders with a sure thing hit. No, it missed again. It scattered off to the back, so that was an all well. Mandacore. Mandacore had to come in, he got three hits on it. He saved none of the penetrations and it exploded. That's where the crater comes in. We have the multi laser. The multi laser did a great job. Rolled a hit. Got two hits, rolled a glance, six inch glance, got one glance, it's on one whole point left now. We have the quad gun, which fired at the um, now missing Heldrake. Uh, Heldrake lost its final wounds because it was in rear armour. It crash and burned, crash and burned over my Lehman Ross. Strength six, didn't affect. And it's still on one whole point left, Defiler moving in. And that seems to be it. Guards have moved up. And now coming in at turn four. Turn four. Uh, that's nothing. That's a wreckage. Right. This got a glance in here. It got angry. And it started firing that twice. Basically, it ro rolls for gets hot. Gets a one on one of them, but saves himself on a four plus. Then manages to penetrate it. Then manages to make it explode. Killing how many guys inside? Four guys inside. Actually. Pin and check. Pinned and morale. Morale! Morale's fine, so pin. For the Emperor's Fiare! Those plasma gunners again fired at that. Did diddly squit. But I mean, it's, it, it has to go, it has to go. 
Melt guns into that. Melt guns into that. Neiman Ross, and as you see, that's gone. They ran up. They that fired into the guys, killed one guy. This fired into the company command squad with the battle cannon, and killed the last guy with its big blast template because it's such a big blast template. It's so awesome. This guy ran two inches, and these guys have stayed stationary. Um, not a lot I can really say more. I'm pleased with some results that's happened. It's come to be a really close game, I feel. And it's the Imperial Guard turn four. Imperial Guard turn four. Nothing moves except for the Chimera firing at the Chimera moving up. Um, shooting. Nothing hits except for one plasma gun onto the Defiler. Penetrate. Passes and vulnerable save. Forgot to bring on the Vendetta, so that's going to come in next turn. Uh, Manacore missed, and that's end of turn. Okay, so this is turn five, isn't it? Four. Five. Right, five. Turn five. Uh, well, that hasn't been harmed. The two famous plasma gunners repeatedly firing into that land, uh, Lehman Russ, and still does diddly squint. This fires at that and manages to get a three on the damage result table. But then uh, this quad gun here with the warp smith decides to play all mastery puppets and fires into that with the quad gun and makes it wrecked. Um, these guys, so got, that got another three result, which was a wreck. Um, these guys ran three inches. Those guys moved into dangerous terrain. Fired at one was just within range of the melter special roll. So fires into them, gets penetration, explodes, kills a few guys inside the Chimera. Then the heavy flamer from the uh, Defiler finishes those guys off. Um, that does. Well, I've said them, I've said that. Fired. And yep, and this guy ran all the way over here, trying to get away from that before it got wrecked. And that is my turn four, isn't it? Five. Turn five or four? Five. Right, so it is Michael, the Imperial Guard player. Uh, Imperial Guard turn five, Vendetta brought on, disembarked, uh, killed the Defiler explosion, got two of my guys and uh, none of his. My guys. Fired into them, killed two. Uh, one cover, one armor, both failed. Quad gun finally managed to take down the Hellbrute. Demolisher took out some guys from the squad inside. Uh, managed impressive failing of cover saves. Uh, Manicor has no more rockets, as it only has four. Does this need to take a mile check this squad? Um, yes, I probably will. I'll check. Okay. Um, that's the end of turn five, so we're going to go roll off for turn six. Doesn't go. And then we're going to, we're going to tally up and get back to you. Well, the calculations are in. He got all my heavy support and fast attack and deletes, so he got six kill points. The Chaos Marines did not survive. He didn't get a kill point because for these because that's still alive and didn't get a kill point for the autogun cultists because they're still alive. Now, um, I got 10 kill points. Does that include uh, Slay the... No. Does that include First Blood? Yes. Sorry. So I got 10 kill points and that is it. Good game. Good game. And hopefully there should be more battle reports from me and if you like this battle report Please, <laughs> the way of your stick of death, please subscribe and like and comment for any interesting rules discussions. And, and relate. And, and dig. And talk. Post on Reddit. <laughs> Post on Reddit. Go on Facebook. Look on Twitter. My yes. My space. <laughs> Never forget. And dancing through the tulips. And. Yeah, so if you like so if you like to give it a like and if you like me chat and if you like this battle report and want to see more, please subscribe. This is Typical Argonian, eighteen fifty
points against Imperial Guard with Chaos Space Marines. Um, with a good old victory. Uh, signing out. I'm the Super Forge Fiend. I have armor 14 all round and I kill you in one attack. I am Rhino Commander. <laughs> I fly Vendetta and kill puny Bobby Marines. All shall die beyond my you race. You don't have my brand. My brand?